what's up Hollywood stars welcome back to another video so in today's video I'm gonna be testing out a bunch of new products that I haven't tested out before they're brand new to me so I wanted to just do a whole video featuring these products letting you guys know my thoughts and opinions first impressions and I also do this entire look with those products so if you want to see how I achieved this looks and my thought and opinion on the products definitely keep watching and as always don't forget to shine bright because it's slow Hollywood time Okay guys, so today we're just going to try out a bunch of new makeup, well at least new makeup to me that I haven't tried yet and I'm super excited. Also my hair is like really red, um, I just dyed it yesterday and there should be a video up by now on how I did it and how I got it this red. I'm still like getting used to it because it was literally just last night and I just kind of trimmed the edges. But anyways, I will link it up here and down there if you want to check it out. So today we're going to do just like makeup and just have fun because I have not done makeup. Literally all of October I didn't do makeup really and I just was in such a rut and now I'm like I'm getting out of it. November is here, good vibes, good energy. So I'm like let me just do the makeup. So I have a bunch of products here that I haven't tried yet myself so I want to try them out. One of them being the cremated palette which I literally had for the longest time ever and I just haven't even used it. Um, but I'm really excited. So this is what it looks like. It's brand new. So just a bunch of like cool tones, warm, is there warm tones? But just like a bunch of like really like smoky colors to create. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, so that's that. So let's get started with the brow. So the first product that I have is this LA Girl Set It Clear Brow Gel. I've been in the hunt for a really good brow gel lately and I feel like the ones that I have have just not been working out that great for me. So I have this one so I'm like let me just try it out and see how it works. Okay so it's a pretty big like container, a big bottle. So let's try it out. Oh wow <laughs> the wand is so small like look at that. Holy shit okay. So let's go ahead and just comb these babies up. I love combing my brow hair upwards to give me like that feathered effect. So I've really been loving doing that. So, so far so good. I feel like it's really making my hair stand up, which I like. Um, so we'll just let it dry and see how it lasts throughout the day. I do like the small little applicator though. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I feel like it, I mean, it looks good. I think it looks the same as my other ones, though. Like, not, like, super impressed, but whatever. We'll just let it be. For my primer for the eyes, I actually have this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer, which I got um, back when I ordered my Norvina 2 palette, and I just never used this guy. So I'm like, okay, it's time for me to use it. Like, come on. So, ooh, this is pretty big. So... This is it. I just want to compare it to the P. Louise. This has the P. Oh, actually. Oh my God. Okay, crazy. So look at the size, right? But I just read how much each of these have, and they actually have the same amount. So weird. Okay, so let's try it out. So I'm just going to take a flat brush. This is my Morphe M224 brush. It's like a flat one. And I'm going to add a little bit here to the. Oh my god, wow, that was runny, what the heck, should I, okay, that's weird, let me maybe shake it, I don't know, that's kind of weird though, like, why would I have to shake it, hmm, maybe I just got a bad one, but let's see, okay, let me try some again, I hope this works, is it supposed, I don't think it's supposed to be runny, right, like, um, or is it supposed to be runny? Like, what the heck? I'm scared. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not expect it to go on this opaque because it's so runny. I don't know if it's runny. Leave me a comment down below if it's supposed to be runny. But I'm going to carve my brows with this and then add this as my primer, of course. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm gonna sim you guys in. So, I went ahead and I added the primer, and it actually looks pretty good. Um, and then I just blended it out with my little um, JS3 brush. That's usually what I like to do, whether I add concealer or primer. I guess it was just throwing me off because I kind of thought it was gonna be like the P. Louise base where it's more like thick, um, not so runny, but I don't know, maybe I got the like a faulty one, but we'll just have to wait and see. Also you guys, my chin is out of control, like out of control. Um, definitely, I think it's a mask. I went to the dermatologist yesterday and she's putting me on um, this medication I was taking beforehand when it cut, when I had the hormonal acne. So I'm excited, hopefully it works again. But okay, let's move on to the eyes. So we're gonna use the cremated palette. Here it is. I haven't even used this, I haven't touched this at all. So I'm very excited. She just cleaned all of them so they're like super nice and clean. Okay, so what kind of look do I wanna do? Like I don't even know. Um, let's just start with a little fluffy brush, of course, and I think I'm going to go into, um, let's do Last Respects, which is this guy right here. <gasps> Whoa, there's kind of quite a bit of fall, actually. I just kind of tapped in there, but let's add this to my crease. Ooh, I love this color. So this is kind of be sort of like a transition shade. One of the main reasons why I decided to get this palette in the first place was because um, I didn't have that many shadows that were gray or like cool tones. So I figured, let me just buy this guy. And I've literally had it just sitting in the drawer for like months, ever since it first came out. Okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna move on to a smaller brush. Maybe something that's a little bit more tapered, like this guy. So I'm gonna do, um, let's go with the Morgue, which is gonna be kinda like right diagonal of this guy, so just a little bit deeper. And we'll just kinda start to kinda deepen up this outer V corner, outer crease. My god, I love this color, this color scheme. I don't think I've really done gray eyeshadow before, or I'm sure I have, but you know, it's not something I usually do. Let's do, I don't know, there's so many variations of colors that I could do, and I'm just like, ugh, like, which one do I do? There's just so many options. Okay, um, let me get a flat brush. And I think I kind of want to do, let's do this Diamond Ashes. This is just calling my name. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's actually like really um, like shimmery, glittery shade. So I'm just picking some of that up with a brush, a flat brush. Hopefully it will, oh yeah, I was going to say hopefully it will perform good. Wow. Wow, that's so pretty. It's like kind of like a foily material too, actually. Oh my god, that's just insane. Okay, so definitely a little bit of fallout there, but that's okay. So I kind of want to do like a little bit of a gradient effect. So why don't we just go in with ball or Paul Bearer. Which is, this guy looks so pretty, so let's do that. So I'm gonna pick some up again with my brush. This seems like it's the same material, like foily. Not material, same, how do you say, finish, I guess. So, oh, that's so pretty. It's like a beautiful gunmetal shade. This shade reminds me a lot of the, um, well, sort of, it's a little different, but of the LA Girl one down here, kind of looks like it. So that's that. Let's move on to Angel of Death, which is this guy. Again, it's like, ooh, this one, see, this one's so buttery, what the heck? 
That's how the other ones should have kind of like picked up on the brush. It looks good. I feel like I like it. Um, let me just go back to my little brush here and I think I'm going to add just a little bit of a darker um, gray. So let's go in with RIP right here. Just so I can kind of blend out this outer corner moment. So yeah, for sure you're going to get a little bit of fallout. I don't know why I keep talking to the mirror. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm going to get a makeup wipe. And I'm just going to dust or I'm just going to clean up this fallout here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of this. Um, let's see. Let's just do the white one. So Death Blow, which is down here. It looks more like a matte finish. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of this up here to the brow bone just to kind of brighten up this area. Yeah, it looks so good. Okay, that looks perfect. So for the waterline, I'm just going to do, I think, black. So I'm going to use my infallible um, pencil here. I love this one. It's really, really creamy. So good. I'm going to grab this brush right here, which is just like a really... So I'm going to grab this brush right here, it's just a flat one, and I'm going to go into the Grave Digger, which is right here. It almost looks black, but it's a really deep gray. And I'm just going to press this shade right underneath the lower lash line, super close to the liner that we added. So you guys, I did get two more palettes, which I'm probably going to do a video on its own for those palettes. It's the, it's one from Lorac. They have like brand new ones um, for holiday, which I'm so excited about. And then I have another one from BH and it's like a holiday one. And I have, I accidentally put my parents' home address. So when I go um, next week, I'll definitely get those and then film the video. But I'm excited for those palettes. Just like something new, you know, like. And I, I don't think I own any Lorac palettes. Do I? I don't know. I don't think I do. So I'm excited for that one and the holiday one. Side note. I'm going to do a quick wing. And I actually have this brand new Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Liner. I've never tried the Too Faced liner. So I'm excited to see how it performs. So I'm going to just do a quick wing. I might just do kind of like halfways. Okay. Oh my god, this just... I should have stopped after the first time. You know when that happens when you're just like, shoot, I just totally went overboard. Whatever, it's fine, but it's performed really good. I love how the eyes look. Okay, so for lashes, um, let's see. I have these ones by Lavish Affections and these are super pretty. Um, these are in the style Serial Lover. I've never tried these out, so let's pop them on. Um, let me just go off camera so I can like cut them and pop them on, and then I will be right back. Okay, guys, look at these lashes. Wow. Okay, this one's still drying so that you can see a little bit of the glue, but they're so pretty. Like, what the heck? I love how fluffy they are. Oh my god, they're just so pretty. I just, I feel like I need to cut a little bit more here at the outer corner because they are kind of dragging a little bit down but I absolutely love how pretty these are so these are from lavish affections once again and these are in the sh um I was gonna say shade these are in the style cereal lover so wow I'm obsessed okay so um let's move on to the face um let me see if I have a new primer to use um 
Do I? Oh, actually, I do. Okay. So I have this NYX Pore Filler Primer. So I've never tried it out. So let's just give it a go. I got this as a little gift when I bought like a bunch of NYX stuff on um, Ulta. Let me just open it up. I love the way the eyes came out. Do you always, I always feel like whenever I do gray eyeshadow, um, the times that I, the few times that I've done it, I feel like it almost hurts to look kind of like bluish, right? Like, it's kind of weird. I've actually also never used a NYX primer before, so we'll just have to see. So it's a pore filler. Oh. Okay, so it, this reminds me a lot of um, the Benefit one. Oh yeah, it's kind of like a silicone material or silicone how do you say silicone material, silicone you guys get what I'm trying to say, but okay, so it feels good. I mean, I don't really know if it's like doing anything, but we'll see once I apply the foundation. I'm adding this mainly where I have um, all my pores, which is like in the center of the face. It feels really good though, very soft. I do have a new foundation, and this is the Anastasia Luminous Foundation, and I have the shade 210N. Um, so I purchased this when it was on sale at Ulta for the 21 Days of Beauty. And um, I haven't tried it yet because I was kind of like tan after Cancun. So I'm like, I don't even know if it's going to match me now. But I mean, let's just try. If not, oh well. So I'm just going to try it a little bit right now. Mm. I don't know. What do you think? I feel like it looks fine. Okay, so I'm just using my finger to apply some. Um, let's do a little bit more here. Okay, let's blend it out. I'm using my Real Techniques sponge to blend this out. For some reason, I expected this foundation to be a little bit more runny because it does say luminous, but it's a little bit um, thicker when it comes out of the bottle, which I don't mind. I feel like it's easier to work with and it's not all runny. Oh, this is actually a pretty good shade. Oh my god, this is like a perfect shade, you guys. Like, wow, I'm shook it. I'm shook it at how good this foundation looks. It reminds me a lot of the um, Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation um, because I feel like it's just not settling into my pores or anything. It's just super pretty. I, I really, really like it. And I do feel like it's pretty full coverage, actually. So you can definitely add another layer if you want it to be like extra, but I might just leave it like this. Wow, I love this foundation. I think this is what, I think this is gonna be my new favorite foundation, you guys. Okay, I'm so glad we picked that up. Okay, so for concealer, I have a new one as well. This is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. I actually own the hydrating one already, which is this guy, and I felt like for some reason the hydrating one wasn't as like full coverage as I expected it to be. And then when I went to my friend's house, she um, had it, and I, and I used her concealer, and she had just the original one, this guy, and it was bomb, so the matte one. So I'm like, let me just try it out. Um, I have the shade Light Sand. So let's give it a go. I love the applicator, it's so big. Yes, this is for sure already like way better for me. So the reason why the other one I kind of didn't really like was because I feel like it wasn't giving me as much coverage. Um, it's also kind of peeing now that I think about it, fair beige. So this one I know I'm gonna like already. I'm gonna take my sponge and blend it out.
Yes, so bomb, you guys. I'm like, wow. This is what the other one should have been like. Okay, okay, flawless. I feel like I added too much to the forehead. Water here. Okay, so we'll just come back to this. But I do have a new um, like contour, cream contour to try out. Um, so that's gonna be the, I hope this color works out. So this is the MAC Studio Fix Soft Matte Foundation Stick. And I have the shade NW47. Um, hopefully this is not too dark, um, but let's just try it out. I'm super excited to try it out, okay. Oh, oh. Okay, that looks really dark. <gasps> Holy shit. Um, okay, we're just gonna have to make it work because I already put it on. But it kind of also, okay, but you guys, these, like when you blend them out, they don't look as dark if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little, um, brush here that I love using to use to blend out my contour. This is the um, JS3. Okay, yeah. So, you guys can see that it's not nearly as dark. Oh my god, yes! Look at how... Oh, so bomb. Okay, wow. And it's a foundation stick, so not only are you going to be bronzing up your skin, but it's also going to give you coverage since it is a foundation stick. And it's a soft matte finish, so I love that. Okay, this looks bomb, you guys. I think I'm going to add a little bit to my jawline. Oh, but then I have all this acne. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit. Wow, I'm so happy about this contour stick. Cause you know the hula one that I love? Apparently, I don't think they make it anymore. I was asking my um my coworker and he was like, yeah, I don't think they make it. And I'm like, no. But I'm glad this one is here. And this is like a brand, kind of like brand new um product for Mac, not too long, maybe like a year or so. So I know it's gonna be here for a while. Okay, I need to like blend it out a bit more with my sponge here. Okay, so I'm gonna add more concealer to the nose. And right here. Just to kind of clean up. Okay, let me blend this out a bit more and then we're gonna set it and I do have a new powder you guys this is the derma blend loose setting powder this is just translucent I've never tried derma blend before so I'm very excited to try it out oh it comes with a little puff cute take off the little thing here okay so I'm gonna just use my sponge to add this powder here It feels like very finely milled, which is really good. And I just kind of set everything else. I love how finely milled the powder is, you guys. It feels very like soft. I love it. It also doesn't smell like much. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything really. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take my Hula bronzer just to kind of bronze a little bit wherever we cream contoured. Using my angled brush, this is the R4 by Morphe. I don't have a new bronzer, so I'm just going to use this guy. 
Ooh, I do have a new blush. I almost forgot, you guys. I ha actually have two. I think I'm going to use this one, though. This is the Cover FX Blush in Soft Peach. I've never tried Cover FX either, so I'm very excited. Um, let's grab a brand new brush so I can really see how it looks like. So I'm going to go in with the matte side. Ooh. Wow, this is such a pretty shade. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Wow. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, I don't know if the camera is picking it up how I'm seeing it. But wow, this is bomb, you guys. Like, if you can get your hands on this blush, definitely do because... Wow, the formula is bomb. It literally just glides on. Like, it's so easy to apply. Like, it's not even, like, caking up. It doesn't look streaky. It doesn't look patchy. Like, wow. <sighs> I'm just shooketh how good it is. I like a lot of blush. Kind of put some in my nose. And kind of up here to blend everything out. <gasps> so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. Okay. Um, let's do maybe a little bit of this um, highlighted one. Maybe kind of like here. <gasps> wow, that's just so, so pretty. This just gives the most beautiful sheen. It's not like over the top. It's very, very subtle, but I can definitely see that it is more of a shimmery finish, like a light sheen. Not even shimmery, it's just like a light sheen, like a nice little glow. Yeah, I'm raising one. Add it with my finger. A little bit to the cupid's bow. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's... Okay, let me actually finish off the eyes. And then I will be right back to show you the lips. Okay, guys. So I almost forgot. I have this KKW Brightening Powder. This is in shade 1. Um, I've been wanting to try this for the longest time ever. And they've always been sold out. And finally, I got my hands on it. So let's try it out. Let's see. So here it is. So let me see. What brush should I use? Just use this is a product in it. No, okay. I'm gonna use this Sigma brush and I think I'm just gonna dip in here and apply it. And we'll see if we see a difference. We'll do just one eye first. Okay. <gasps> Wow, I feel like this eye just looks more awake, like more pulled up. Holy cow. Okay, let me do the other side. Wow, look at that. Don't I just look more awake now? Wow. At first, I was like, I don't know if it's doing anything, but I can definitely see it now. Okay, wow. I'm obsessed with this, too. For sure, I think next time I'm going to do this step right before my blush, though. But, oh my god, I really like it. Perfect. Okay, so for lips, um, I have two different lip liners to use or that I could use. So I either have this lip pencil by MAC in shade Cork. I've never used Cork on myself. Um, or I have this KKW lip pencil in 90s Icon, which, you know what? I might just use this 90s Icon because 
now that I'm looking at it, this is giving me kind of like that campaign that she did. Or not the campaign, but her 90s whatever collection. Um, so let me just use this. I've never tried a KKW... Um, actually, no, I lied. I do have a KKW lip liner, but it's so light that it's not even a lip liner on me. Um, so I'm excited to try this guy out. It actually feels really good and sturdy and heavy. So this is a 90s icon. The color looks pretty too. Wow, it just like glides on you guys. And this color is really pretty too. I'm gonna have to invest in more KKW lip liners because bomb, okay? Um, let's just do, um, I have another KKW lipstick. This is the nude one, so why don't we just do this guy? It's really nude too, it's like a peachy nude. Oh, that looks so good, wow, I'm obsessed. Let me go back to the lip liner a little bit. Wow, that's already looking really good. Oh my god, you guys. I'm obsessed with this look. I love it so much. Okay, so I think we're finally done. So last step, I'm just going to use my favorite all-nighter setting spray by Urban Decay. It's a new one, too. <laughs> okay, bomb. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video because every single product was bomb, you guys. Like, I'm obsessed with the lip liner, the foundation, the powder, the blush. Like, this was a good freaking video, like a good day. So I'm so, so happy with the way the look came out, with the products, the way they performed. So if you wanna see more first impressions, definitely leave me a comment down below or leave me a comment of just anything that you want me to film because I can definitely definitely do that for you guys so don't forget to like share subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye